Uh, good morning. So we carry on with our uh, uh, first chapter, railway planning, and now we have reached section number three, railway safety management. Safety is one of the most critical parts of uh, managing any railway systems because it, it, uh, the railway system can be described as a safety critical system. So we will be talking about several topics and in order to understand this in detail, let me share the slides. So we will be doing the, the railway safety management section and the first section in this video, 3.1, understanding risk. So railway safety management in this section, we'll be talking about understanding risk We'll be talking about risk matrix. We'll be talking about human error violations and models of behaviors, how model how humans uh, behave uh, in general and how this can affect the safety of the railway network. Also, we'll be talking about railway safety and complexity. Uh, we'll be talking about safety requirements and defense mechanism for railway systems and how we make sure that we have these mechanisms that can make sure that we have a, a, a safe and reliable system. We'll give some examples of railway accidents and why they happen. Sometimes the accidents can be uh, minor, with the, uh, maybe with no injuries, and sometimes can be major with, and fatal with few deaths. So also we'll be talking about concepts and safety and specifically we'll be talking about high reliability organizations. Those organizations that are dependent on high level of safety, very complex operations such as uh, in nuclear uh, facilities, such as uh, railway systems and others. So without further ado, let's start with understanding risk. So the railway industry is a safety burden. <laughs> so the railway industry is a safety critical industry. And what we mean by that, it's highly dependent on safety. And in order to make sure that you have a reliable system for safety management, you need to understand risk. So in this graph, you will see that you always need to do to think about what can go wrong. What are the risks that can happen? Can we have a train collision? Can we have a, a, a control system failure? Can we have a, a passenger tripping into uh, uh, the track? Can we have a suicide, uh, a suicide case? So there are, can we have a, a, a ticket barrier system not working and blocking the passenger flows? So we need to know, always think about what can go wrong. And we need to identify that and we also we need to think about how likely is that it, it is going to happen is is it like 10% is it uh, is it about about is it 1% of the cases is it between 2 and 3 uh, between 2 and 3 uh, seasons you you should be thinking about the likelihood but also you should be thinking about the consequences. What are the impacts? So for example, if we have a ticket barrier system not working, what is the uh, impact of this of passengers catching their train on time? So uh, we should always be thinking, and what is the impact of that on revenue? What is the impact of that on complaints? What is the impact of that on uh, even safe operations? Maybe passengers will be running towards the train. So you should always be thinking about the consequences. And with that, we start to realize and understand risk, its likelihood and its consequences. So to put this in a clearer graph, this is sometimes people call it the bow tie graph. So in the bow tie graph, you will be understanding the hazards and by the hazards, what are the reasons that could, uh, that ignite or, uh, or spark the risk? So what are the things? So for example, the risk is, the passengers running towards their train and slipping into the track. So, uh, so, and the hazard is they have done that because the ticket barrier system uh, stopped working. So they had to jump on that. They are trying to catch their appointment and uh, things escape. So that, that, this is the first thing is how a risk can happen. And so we think about what are, what are the possible causes how can the hazards be released? 
And how likely is that? And based on that, we start to build our defense mechanism. We, we, maybe not all of our ticket barriers should be automated. Maybe we should have a very high, a, a, a high reliable ticket barrier system. Maybe we should have a, a small, we should be able to delay the train for one minute or 30 seconds if needed. So there is understanding risk. But also we need to think about the consequences. What are the consequences that can escalate to that level? Sh shall we have, uh, shall we have uh, kind of doors before the platform so people have several uh, barriers before reaching uh, the train? Uh, so we, uh, we definitely stop any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, uh, incidents that might happen because of interaction between passengers of train because there is, for, for example, a door that opens or closes based on what happens within the station. So what are the key consequences? How might it escalate? How can these, the consequences escalate? And how likely is that to happen? So we think about consequences, we think about hazards, and based on that, we understand the risk. So this, we need to do this for every risk we think about in the railway industry. So to put this even in a clearer way, you should not be running a, a, a very safe operation with no trains. Like, okay, the, the safest railway is the railway that is not working. So no, we should be thinking about the business objectives as a fundamental part of our safety critical system. So this is a health, uh, health and safety enterprise management system. So we think about the task, we think about who's re the responsibility of this task, we think about competence, we think about business activity, we think about KBIs and we think about standards. So these are making the business. We need to run trains, we need to run that number of trains, we need to reach the, uh, that level of revenue, we need to uh, deliver, uh, to transport that number of passengers. So we have some objective to achieve. And based on that, we start to identify risks and assess those risks and make sure we have the risk control measures that make sure that we contain any risk that might happen and make sure that it does not have a, a, a great consequences. But also we think about recovery measures. What if that risk has happened, how we can recover from it? So that was a very quick introduction on understanding risk as part of railway safety management. It's fundamental that you have a, a clear understanding of safety and risk while, uh, uh, while working in the railway as this is, a, as a small uh, incident might hit the news easily. So managing safety in railway systems is fundamental part of successful operation. Have a great evening and we'll see you in the next lesson.